It is absolutely superb. Yes. The, uh, the, the quality of the original piece of furniture is outstanding. And the condition that it survived in, as I say, is also outstanding. And it just, I just would love to know where this has been all its life to have survived like this. It's an occasional table, for want of a better yes, word. Yes. But I've never seen one of quite this model. It could, you could almost call it an early Sutherland table with this very narrow profile when it's, uh, when it's down. Yes. I mentioned the quality, and immediately you can see that the top is veneered in segments yes. of this wonderful flame-figured mahogany. You can see precisely why it's called a flame yes, figure as soon yes. as you look at it. But the stunning thing to me, if we could just turn it over, just lay it on its back, I've got the back leaf, is that the back of the leaves is Still also veneered it. in yes. exactly the same way. It's not quite such good veneer. No. It's not quite the, uh, the colour and flame uh, figuring of the uh, top surface, but, you but it's very, very good. You can still see the sections. Oh, yes, it, you can you? still see the yes. segments of the way it's veneered, and you can still see that in places they have chosen quite a good flame figure. And on a lesser quality table, that would have been quite good enough for the top. If we could have it back on its, uh, on its feet and open it up, you can see it's supported on these beautifully shaped gates, one on each side. I think yours is that side. That's right. And it comes back, yes. and they are stopped by lovely shaped blocks with a little stop. Yes. So you can't take it too far. And when it's out, it's quite an outstanding table. Well, I think it's very, very early Victorian, if not uh, almost late Georgian or William IV, are the, the details. This gadrooning here is still very fine. It's not fat, heavy Victorian gadrooning. The feet are still very nicely carved. You've got the remains of a Regency classical decoration on top of the feet here. Um, and all in all, I'm sure that it must be between 1830 and 1840. An outstanding piece of furniture. It's looking well for its age. <laughs> it's looking very, very well for its age. This, by the way, is called a rule joint. If you imagine rule, R U L E. Ah, yes. If you imagine an old carpenter's rule, yes. it's exactly the same. I've never seen a piece of furniture quite like this. I've seen plenty of good quality Victorian and earlier furniture, but never anything of quite this form or of quite this quality. And my guess is that in a sale, it's going, it's going to make, oh crumbs, two thousand pounds, possibly more. I think I'd better insure it. I think you better if you haven't. <laughs> I have always suspected that she was Queen Anne, and so my father told me she always was suspended from the same place on the wall, and uh, latterly she's hung from a, um, a picture hook in our house. Well, she is indeed Queen Anne, oh. and uh, mm. this is a very important, in ceramic terms, portrait of her. Mm. There exists another one which appeared at auction in London last year, which has a plain border and is in fact dated 1704. So we can assume that this one probably is, comes from the same year. Mm. This one is interesting in having this lovely scrolly border with foliage reserved on it. The portrait probably taken from an engraving after a painting by Nella or one of the major artists of the time. This is part of a group of, of plaques that all have similar marks to this, which is probably the monogram of the painter. We don't know who he is, but he did do several plaques, some of which are dated around this period. Interestingly here, the, the thing was designed to be hung up and there were holes that had been filled in. There's a minor amount of damage there. I hadn't there, noticed that. But there were little holes in yes. it, fired in it originally. So there we have a royal portrait plaque uh, of 1704 or thereabouts. I know of one and perhaps two others. Oh. So it's quite a rare thing. Mm. If I tell you that the one that was sold at auction last year, which is slightly different from this, dated but with a less attractive border, fetched 14,000 pounds, to give you some idea of what this should be worth today. Well, all I can say is that I'm very relieved that uh, we had such a strong nail in the wall. <laughs>